What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. So today on Christmas Day, this Sunday, we got a new holiday themed Scream 6 poster. Now this Scream 6 poster is something I doubt it of course will be used constantly throughout the rest of the marketing. However, it seems that the poster has a few teases and tidbits of what we could potentially expect playing into the plot of this upcoming movie. One thing in particular can be interpreted two different ways because of a thing that viewer or not has decided to share, which again, if you don't want any potential spoilers, you should not be watching this video. However, just to continue, the poster itself is of New York City. And what many people think they're spotting are clues that we have more than two killers in the movie. They think there's a clue related to Stab 9. The fact that Stab 9 is blatantly mentioned being the biggest thing and the potential chance that we could be seeing a musical related to Gail Weather's very first book about Maureen Prescott. But that line in particular, the wrongly accused, the musical portion of the poster is also being interpreted as something related to Sam Carpenter, which I will get into in a second. So as pertains to the contents of what could go down in Stab 9, Stab 9 very much so could be the actual movie adaptation of what happened not too long ago with the events of Screen 5. However, given that that movie just was released and the time frame between 5 and 6 in terms of what Melissa Barrera has said in the past, it seems like not too much time has gone come and go. Not to say they can't rush production because that could easily be a way for them to be commentating on, them, on themselves. The fact that Stab 9 happened so fast after Richie and Amber's attacks could be a way for them to commentate on the fact that we're getting Scream 6 so fast after Scream 5. So maybe that's all it is. Scream, Scream or the Stab 9 contents very much so could be related to that. Or they could be related to some other requel idea that was born out of what's out of what Richie and Amber did. But not ex exactly blatantly portraying that on screen. Now, when it relates to the wrongly accused line, wrongly accused the musical People have been associating, and I want to talk about the Sam Carpenter interpretation. People have been interpreting that it might have something to do with Sam Carpenter. And the reason for that is because a viewer Anon put out a tweet revealing that one of the things playing into the story of Scream 6 is Sam Carpenter having to face a nasty rumor that she is the one that is actually behind the events of Scream 5 and that Amber and Richie are innocent. Now, it's also something that apparently is very widespread. So that could be a lot to deal with, of course, knowing you specifically did not do that and that you were innocent. It could be commentating on this um, trend of false accusations people are facing um, and how things can be twisted around onto you and you are painted as the villain by the media when you really have not done anything wrong. And the evidence of who actually did something wrong is right there in front of them. But yet everything's being spinned onto you. That could be something they're commentating on about some of the current trends in pop culture related to some other instances where this has actually happened. Or it can also be interpreted as their way of commentating on conspiracy theories. Now, the reason I'm bringing up the conspiracy theories is because there was a while ago I brought up a video idea of maybe you could have a motive where Sydney Prescott, if she was involved. But now, of course, this would be applied to Sam Carpenter. I applied it to Sydney in that video. What if? You have a group of people, maybe they're from the staff subreddit, who believe that Amber and Richie are innocent. So in their quest to prove that Amber and Richie were innocent, and maybe they they downright know these two aren't innocent, but they think that it would be much better to have a movie play out where you actually see the daughter of Billy Loomis as the villain. And the idea that Amber and Richie had actually needs to play out. So they go out of their way to stage a new spree and prove this conspiracy that's going around to be true that Sam was the killer in Screen 5 and that it was not Amber and Richie. You could have a group of conspiracy theorists working to prove that the events of Screen 5 actually were the work or actually were the cause of Sam and not Amber and Richie. That would be a very unique motive. It would be something that's fresh. It would be something that's never been done before. Uh, you could also throw in something else there just so that way you, if you want to make it more personal, you can throw something else in to make it more personal, but you could see something like that play out. Uh, so that nasty rumor, that's something that also is tying into like their way of giving Sam a new arc or something more to her development over time with this trilogy. If it ends up being that, because we know that in screen two, what Sydney was dealing with in her screen two 
was unwanted press attention now because she had press all over her you know the new movie the new book by gail weathers people trying to have uh her just in the spotlight that she did not want she just wanted all of this to go away and the press was just all over her because she was the she was the uh, titular target of these of these sprees. She's now had her character immortalized in 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 several forms of media. That being a very big recent horror film that's gained a lot of recognition. And you know the killing started up again. So Cindy had all this unwanted press. So the unwanted press for Sam comes in the form of nasty rumors. Now, as it pertains to the Gail Weathers musical that you could potentially be seen play out with the wrongly accused moniker. Wrongly Accused was the very first book that Gail Weathers put out. That was about Maureen Prescott. So is Gail Weathers back to exploiting things of the past to try to make herself more relevant again? And I don't want to chalk it all up to just exploitation because we know that there's a lot more to Gail than how she could be perceived by other people because we've gotten to know the character a lot, a lot more personally over the course of these six films. Could she be going through a phase where she is desperate to revitalize her career and now the very first book that she's published is turned into a musical because she did say that she started all of this if she hadn't written that book about about sydney's mother in screen five and sydney kind of talked her down that no it wasn't you it was billy loomis who started this okay so here's the thing if she actually has allowed them to turn that first book into a musical i wonder what type of development that would give between her and sydney if sydney is to return in future installments because she's back to profiting off of these terrible things that she seems so remorseful about she could be it could be her way of just coping with the loss of dewey or again it might be just something more than exploitation maybe there's something going on with gail that we will learn about in scream six that ties into why she's going back to her old shtick maybe some of her new material just isn't being as profitable for her as she thought it would be and she's already talked to sydney about this and maybe sydney gave her her gave her her blessing for this and sydney understands the industry now a little bit more given that she's now a written author and maybe she, there's some other things that sydney has been working on over the years that relate to what they title exploiting and that's why Sydney was okay. Maybe Sydney gave her a blessing. Gail Weathers probably also has written a new book. That's another possibility. There's so many different things that could be going on in Scream 6. But the new poster definitely gave us a lot to talk about. So that's why I wanted to make this quick video. Uh, what do you guys think about it? What do you think all of this stuff in the stuff or in this new poster means? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to come in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video